Alright, today I want to talk about how you can successfully mow your lawn shorter and basically the two most important things that you need to do in order to achieve that. So there's tons of people around my area that mow their lawn pretty short, so why do most of them look brown and kind of stressed out compared to mine that's mowed at an inch and three quarters? There's two main reasons for this, and a lot of people don't realize how important that mowing is in order to achieve a certain look in your yard. So first off, a lot of people now are knowing that if you mow your lawn taller, there's a lot of benefits to that. It's gonna be less weed pressure, it's not gonna be as stressed out from heat and the sun, you're shading the soil a little bit more. So all those things are helping to keep your lawn really nice by mowing taller. But there's also one other important thing that you need to remember when you're mowing taller, and that's that it's much easier to follow the one-third rule. So if you happen to let your lawn get to five inches tall and you're mowing it at four inches, or maybe it even gets to six inches tall because you just didn't get time to mow it, then if you're mowing it at four inches, you're not taking off nearly as much as if you were letting it get to six inches tall and then coming in and really scalping it down to two inches, which I see honestly see a lot of people do. So that mowing and the one-third rule of not taking off more than one-third of your grass blade is much more important than you might think it is. So here's the reason why I can mow my yard at one and three quarters. The yard right next door to me is mowed around probably two inches or so, but they don't look anything the same. Now let's keep in mind that we've had a lot of rain here recently, so both yards have had quite a bit of rain. Of course I fertilize, I do all those things, but in general one of the most important things is following that one-third rule. So what does that mean? So in order for me to get my yard to look as green as it does, mowing frequently is the most important thing. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about once every two to three days or so right now. So when you're doing that you're not taking off as much of the leaf blade, you're ending up with grass that can be mowed short, still looks healthy, still looks green. And there's one more tool that's very specific for mowing short, and that is this thing right here. So this is the plant growth regulator. And for a long time I thought, I don't really want to get into all that crazy stuff with lawn care. I just kind of want to mow my yard and fertilize and have it look nice. But once I started doing a little bit more and reading some things about how these products can actually really help your yard, I realized that maybe I shouldn't be so scared of it and I should give it a shot. So I tried this this year, I'm going to put another application on actually today, but what this does is it just slows down the top growth of the grass. So it forces that energy that's usually telling the grass to grow up and it puts it down into the root system instead. So this helps us with a lot of things, not only do we not have to mow as frequently and we can follow the one third rule much easier, but especially if you're mowing short and you need to mow more frequently, this is gonna help you a lot to make sure the grass doesn't get too far ahead of you and you don't end up stressing it out. So this really is a cool product. I used it about three weeks ago or so and I was pretty amazed at how much it slowed down the grass. So I was able to keep up with it during the spring kind of flush of growth there. So it's a really cool product. I will say it's pretty expensive, but this bottle is going to last me for a very long time. I'm only putting down, I think my first application was around three-fourths of an ounce for each 1,000 square feet. So I have not tried this in my backyard at all. I'm thinking maybe next year I might try it because my bluegrass tends to get ahead of me quite a bit back there in the spring. It gets really wet and then I just can't mow it as often as I need to. So I might try that. So as far as mowing short, this thing is gonna help you a lot and I'll have a link in the description below if you'd like to check it out. Okay, so I've added two gallons of water to the sprayer. I've got 3,000 square feet I wanna spray and I want to put down about a gallon per thousand square feet. So you kind of have to practice with your sprayer with just water to get down the right amount for the coverage that you want. And I'm gonna go with a little bit lighter rate this time. I went with 0.75 ounces per thousand of the T-Nex last time. This time I'm gonna go 0.5. We're getting into the heat of the summer. I shouldn't have to slow it down just quite as much and I just don't wanna put down quite as much if I don't really need to. So we're gonna go with 0.5 ounces this time. Just add that to the sprayer and then get three gallons in there and then we'll spray. Thank you. 
It's also really nice to have stripes to follow if you can. It's about a double wide stripe for the sprayer is nice to follow because it's about the exact same width. Alright, so I was left with a little bit extra in my tank, but that's okay. It just means that I walk just a little bit too fast. Better that way probably than putting it down too heavy. So it's always a little bit of a game there to try to get your pace right. But I wasn't using too much product, so that way I also have a little bit of leeway to make sure that I'm not applying it too heavy.